going on guys? This is Justin from the Men's Club Barbershop and I'm here today with Rob and we are going to clean him up and bring him back to life. Alright, when I say bring him back to life today, what we're going to do is we're going to do like a, more of a classic side part. We're going to take about a two up on the sides, part it here, kind of leave the front disconnected and then more blended towards the back. Taper everything in around the sideburns and the back of the neck and then kind of bring the beard in. Blow dry that out, straighten it up, get all the strays off there. And then we're probably going to trim up his mustache a little bit too. Get it out of his mouth a little bit so he's not eating it. Alright, so the first thing I always like to do is usually I like to wet the hair down just to see where everything falls. Get everything naturally. Alright, then my first step, like I said, I'm going to do a two up the side. Take it to just about the crown area to leave some shape there. And then for my next step, I'm going to taper out the back of his neck. I'm going to go with my clipper all the way closed. This is a, uh, a wall for this clipper. And then for my next step, I'm going to make my second line with a clipper that I like to use that has like a little bit of a thicker blade to make like skin lines like this because there's not as much give to it. You have a little bit more room to work because like I said, the blade's a little thicker. And open the clipper all the way up and make the next line up. And then you have this little line under here. Close that clipper just a little bit. You can use the corner of the blade too if you have to smaller area so it might be easier to just use the corner and then I'm going to put one guard on my cordless clipper open that all the way up start just above that line and gradually close the lever as I'm going down and get that line out of there a lot of people have these little indents in the back of their head here so you kind of got to use the corner to get in there and get those lines out of there and then since we did a two on the side, I like to kind of just take a one and a half, the corner of the blade, up and around the ear, kind of make it shorter, so it's not as full on the edge, give it a couple extra days. And then the same thing for the sideburns too, usually like if I do a two on the side of the head, you know what I mean, I'll do, I try to take the sideburns in the back of the neck, if they don't want them completely tapered out, at least a clip to a clip and a half shorter just so it gives it an extra couple days. And people typically notice that first because when your sideburns grow out, it is in your actual line of sight right there. So this is just my cordless clipper all the way open. Just tapering the sideburns out a little bit to make it look neater. Then I do the same thing, one clip all the way open. All right, and then next what I do is I like to just outline the hairline and then I'll go into the, doing the top. And then for this, just kind of keep this as natural as possible. Just a clean line up and around. And you can see I'm actually using my middle finger here and this finger and this whole, actually this whole hand as a guide. And then here with this finger, just to keep my hand steady. Same thing with the sideburns, keeping it as natural as possible. And with his beard line, I like to see where that starts. I start my line there, follow that up. A little bit more than halfway, and then I'll come up here to his arch, follow that, and kind of just meet the two in the middle. 
Still keeping it as natural, but slight rounded edges there. All right, so now for my next step, okay, I'm just gonna transition into the top. Now we're gonna just kind of trim the ends up a bit to make it look a little cleaner. It's been a long time since Ralph got a haircut, as you could tell. Um, so we're gonna kind of trim the ends, make it healthy again, blend in this side, and then we're gonna blend in pretty much from all of this around to about here. And then the front is gonna just kind of hang over, more of like a disconnected front look. Typically for the top, what I like to do is I like to make a mohawk section. Straight down the center of the head, just to kind of establish the length. And as you can see, all of this is dead. So we're just gonna cut all that off. And just follow that all the way back. Leave it a little bit heavier in the back towards the calic area so it lays. Because with that length in the back, it creates the weight to weigh all of the hair down. Or some people like to just chop the calyx off or ask you to take it shorter because it's sticking up, but they don't really realize that when you chop it off, when it grows back in, it's so short that it starts to stick up. Then we just follow this line. This has to be a quarter of the world's ginger population right here. <laughs> concentration is incredible right now. <laughs> Don't get too close, it's going multiply. <laughs> Were you in here last week, too, when there was another redhead of Jake was calling Yeah. Someone? Yeah. <laughs> Rob was in here last week. I just couldn't stop laughing. Just getting cleaned up for something, and Jake was cutting someone who had red hair. A lot of gingers in one room. Dominating the room. And now we're just gonna blend this transition area in. And usually with this area, I like to, your moving blade on your shears should be acting as if it's like a moving blade on your clipper, constantly moving. We're choosing to do a um, scissor over comb here as opposed to a clipper over comb, any particular reason? Ah, uh, yeah, it lays a little bit more natural. I'm just gonna go in with thinning shears and just take some of the bulk out right here in this area. All right, now for styling this area, what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of product in before we blow dry. For styling purposes, I like to just use a wide tooth comb. Gives it, again, more of like a natural look. As opposed to sucking it straight back with your fingers. Alright, now for the beard. I'm going to kind of just run through it and pick it out first. Get all the knots and tangles out if there is any. Try to cut me out at a time. I don't think it worked. No, it's not bad actually. Just wet it down, comb it out, and then blow dry it straight. And I'm gonna go through with my detachable clipper, keep most of the shape and size. We're just gonna go through, I'm gonna skim the ends, get all the stray hairs off there, give it some shape on the bottom, and then just taper everything in in here. Recently, it's been probably about once every like two months or so, yeah. just to make sure that the uh, the ends are healthy enough. The beards are tricky underneath here; they kind of grow out and then like up and curl under. So you always want to make sure you kind of comb out the bottom and get everything 
that's hanging over. Enough for the mustache. Do you want, you still want all of it? Yeah, I was going to try and keep twirling it. It okay. just seemed like it was getting a bit unhealthy and like yeah, wiring to his hands. See, my problem is I have a dog now, but the dog was a rescue. So she is like super duper skittish. So getting her to do anything is real tough, especially in the mornings. When I have to be in work by nine and then be at the L by eight, trying to get her ready and taken care of and then getting myself taken care of, I don't always have time to blow dry and groom as I should. Got it. I I'm too busy grooming everyone else. <laughs> yeah, for the mustache, I'm just gonna kind of trim it above the lip a little bit, keeping most of this line so you can twirl it back, but just taking a little bit off so it's not all up in his food when he's eating. Mustaches like this really limit you to like wings and cupcakes and all those other things. That's a really good point. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream, soup, honestly. Just, mm -hmm. and for a technique to styling a mustache, use a smaller brush and kind of blow dry it back. Get it completely out of the way there. I say it's 90%, 95% of mustache styling is blow drying. Okay. Do you still want to trim it? What's that? Do you still want to trim it down? Um, I would take the very tips yeah. off the side there. Hey, listen to me telling the client what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> and for the stash, I'm just gonna kind of point cut, pretty much just poke at these little ends here. And if he doesn't twirl it, it'll blend in with the rest of his beard. And if he does want to twirl it, he has that option as well. All right, now we just have to fade from all this in right here. And you just start with a bigger clip, bigger guard, just um, to be safe, err on the side of caution. And this is a two, and you just work your way down. gonna put a little bit of this um, style, this beer brand styling bomb in there to kind of just mat everything down. All right, guys, and that's it. Like I said, we did a two on the side, kept everything natural and clean, kept some weight around the crown here. And now he just, all he has to do is just kind of style it over and back. And then the beard just maintained it. He wanted to keep all of the length pretty much and just make it look clean. So what I did was like, you know, like I said, took all the strays off and shaped it a bit around the bottom and kept everything. And brought him back to life. Much needed. Much needed. <laughs>simplicity grab the styling balm it's designed for your hair and your beard it will give a sand finish with a medium hold no it's not a conditioning product it's a styling product styling balm over at beardbrand.com